Kameme in winner's semi, so he finds himself here versus Arfang. And again, we got Georgia versus Arfang, or, or Georgia versus Carolina. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, he took out, you know, it's, it's actually pretty funny. He took out two, two, two South Carolina, or three South Carolina on the way to top eight, and then he's taking out Georgia in top eight. So he's gonna play another Georgia here. Yeah, he was able to take out Sanito in the first round of uh, losers in top eight. And oh, now gets an opening. Ooh, Pichu's probably gonna die so soon to, the, to this cloud. Yeah, it, it's, you know, oh, it's it gets, so crazy. When he gets these openings, he needs to capitalize so much. Yeah, and Pichu definitely a horror offstage, but like Cloud definitely known for taking stocks oh. extremely early. Oh, yeah. Able to punish. I'm surprised he was able to punish that one in cross slash. Oh, Pichu, yeah. Pichu, oh, the forward tilt is taking it. You know, Salt one so good. Getting with the ledge. It's facing out back air. F tilt. So, so clean with doing that. Parry into the back air. The limit's almost online here. Back air, okay. Uh, Salt one not going to opt for the uh, up B out of shield. Right now, I mean, this is a position where you just don't want to be as Pichu because especially with the nerfs in terms of, like, how much damage you do to yourself. Oh, yeah. He, he, you can you can do parry and then just barely jab the last hit. I wonder if you can parry F-Tilt. I mean, it might be too slow, um, but jab for sure. Uh, I know. He, I think he misses the jab a lot because it, it isn't in time. So I'd oh, honestly, oh my. that's a tragic way to lose that stock. Okay. And you know what's crazy? Uh, at Wednesday Night Fights, we actually saw Spargo do that to Void at Wednesday Night Fights. So, like... <laughs> Dang, RIP, man. Oh, the jab. Oh, oh. oh my. Yo, Salt, Salt one. one. Decision making. Dang. You really want to take me out? You really want to go for this fancy parry jab? Well, let me trade for the stocks there, Arvang. Definitely not, not uh, happy about that one. He definitely lost two stocks at like sub 30%. Yeah. Dang. I mean, that's one way to win a match. That is a tragic way to, to lose your last stock. Yeah. <laughs> You're going for an edge guard and you get killed. Can't say I've quite seen the sparks on that one so low to the blast zone, yeah. but uh, completely out of the frame. Just, ooh. I all mean, right. it, it's all about getting that optimal punch, man. When your opponent messes up, and you already know, man, Salt One is about that. And against a character right. like Pichu, can you really have any remorse? He tries to get his lightning limbs going, but doesn't get only gets only at least one duration of it. All right. There's the T-Jolts, very nice cross-ups coming out from our oh, but Side B is so good from Cloud. Oh yeah, it's such a huge hitbox, it's a great anti-air, just 20-something percent. It's, it's, a, it's a very amazing move. Okay, Drink is the low here. Arfang putting up a little bit more pressure here, going a little bit more on the offense, Ooh. but here's the limit. You know, their percents are, are, you know, even though Pichu is at, at a lower percent, he's in death percent, so like, a lot of Cloud's moves. Dang. What? Oh, Ooh, the F smash, so that's gonna take it. You know, setting up the oh, oh the nair, Bailey misfaces that. Randy, you know, <laughs> picking up. The crowd erupting here for the boy Randy. Arfang, very nice patience. Gonna catch that up, the early up B there, and just hanging on the ledge. Gonna get that gimp on Salt One, and that is what you gotta do against Cloud Man. You gotta get these young gimps. Can you get the lightning moves? No, but he's getting this good old damage. All right, Arfang just. You know, doing some damage here. Oh, I like the usage of Nair yeah, and Nair. So, and nice thing about Nair, Nair doesn't hurt you. <laughs> it's not electric move. Yeah, so Nair and up air probably your best like not. Oh so man, even, even that's sort of more of a marginal thing. Yeah, the crowd is chanting Nair. <laughs> <laughs> I I love the Carolina crowd. Like I don't know if it's just Randy specifically, but they'll just randomly like just start chanting Nair. It's probably like with characters with good Nairs, but oh yeah, no, the Carolina funny. crowd. We we love to get loud. All right, but man, right now, Arfang looking like he is uh, sitting pretty with this lead. Offstage situation, where's the double jump, the down air? Ooh, actually, oh, oh, wow. He throws out a lot of that, but does not get the kill. And I like the fact that Arfang tried to use the Thunder to catch the tech into the upbeat, but he was just a little off the mark there, but I like the idea. I like the counterplay. Nair, jab lock, ooh. But oh, he doesn't get the really? stock. Oh, doesn't get the stock. Wow. That was definitely living. an F smash on a platter, but Arfang gonna drop the opportunity, and uh, you gotta be careful, man. You're already at 65, especially with this rage. Oh, yeah, this could be really dangerous to beat you. I think even like an F tilt ledge might kill. Oh man, this is, and like the limit's almost okay. Well, oh, Arfang, so, so clean with those confirms. I have barely seen him drop a single up up throw into thunder. And man, I, oh wait, but Ooh, the back gonna clean it. We're going down to this last stock in this game. Randy, you know, or Arfang really, if you really helpful to get this game, you do not want to be down 2-0 ever. Ooh, the double Nair mix up. I like it from Arfang, uh, hitting them little with a little remix on the combo. 
Okay. Avoiding that up air and uh, last sock here. Limit online. When are you going to pop it or are you just going to use it for the stat boost? Oh, it's right there. Try to get oh, the Oh, loses back. it. Here's the combos coming out from Arfang. No carry, but we got oh, the back air out of shield. Is the Ooh, that was very Salt 1 uses scary. that so well. Oh, yeah. It, it's a very unexpected option. Wow. Oh, gonna get up. oh I like the DI mix up, though. Okay. Doesn't get anything out of. Oh, this is a super scary situation for Pichu. Yeah, and I, I feel like Arfang, you want to get aggressive off stage, but with the limit online as well, you got to be careful. Oh, there's the. A... Oh, wait, can he get Oh, the, the down smash gets the game. Let's go, Arfang. Covers both sides here for Arfang. Not going to take any risk there. Arfang going to take game number two, going 1 1 here against Salt One. We got a Carolina versus Georgia face off here, man, and the crowd going nuts. <laughs> Yo, dang, man. 76 got the spatula. All right. <laughs> I see you. <laughs> they really want Randy to get out here. <laughs> All right. So, 1-1 one, one here a piece for both our competitors. Arfang versus Salt One. Game number three. Back on Pokemon Stadium. And oh, we are oh it's not okay. This is going to be a punish. What's he going to get? Oh, I like the DI. Oh, the, oh great grab, re grab. Up airs for okay. days. Oh, try to get the boost tilt here. Panic up B, but Arfang with the punish. Oh, the back air. Oh, gets him with the drag down thunder. Perfect read with Arfang. Wow, and that was so good. Catching the jump, taking the socket like 60%, and that is what Pichu is capable of. Such a powerful character. Ooh, okay, He's, 45. Arfang is not ready to let this lead go, go to waste. Oh, getting some combos here. Oh, oh so close to almost getting that. That was so smart from Arfang. Oh, just nice down air to shield by uh, Salt One. Yeah, just a tad bit off the mark here. Arfang definitely abusing the fact that he has the lead. There's an air. Wow, and Arfang is just so good in neutral. He just, I feel like Salt One hasn't been able to land a hit in so long. Ooh, as I say. Ooh, it. yeah, as you say it. Okay, there it is. Gonna avoid the limit, but the Ooh, upper the doesn't kill. He's still alive. Arfang still alive on this Pichu. Man, can Salt One get another one of these solid hits? It can be very hard. It can be very difficult against this small and nimble character being Pichu. The down tilt. Oh, Ooh, the F tilt's going to take it. Really good Pichu. stuff, man. But he got so much off of that lead, though. Yeah, very, very good stuff. Yeah, especially if he can close out a kill soon, he's in a super good position. He can start playing a lot riskier, you know, throwing out those options that Pichu really needs to do. Oh, there's the parry. Very clean stuff. Oh, he tries to read it. Oh, tried to get the roll in. Really good directional air dodge coming out from Salt One. Cross up. Wow. Oh. Or anything real. Ooh, he really wants this. Oh, again, you said Salt One loves to use that ledge option. So, yeah, he, and he's so good at knowing when he can use it and not get away, completely get away with it. Yeah, pretty much when someone drops their guard, they're maybe trying to fling out like a certain Ooh, attack. dash tag not quite getting it. Man, but this is looking scary for oh, our fans. Yeah, this is looking terrifying for our fans. Ooh. That was. Okay. Up throw. <laughs> Wow, oh, but the, the platform. platform! Dude, that was such a clutch. Oh, I don't know. Oh, man. He's still alive. Someone's still alive with all this rage. Ooh, this F tilt, super scary. Man, and Arfang is definitely in kill. Ooh, that was oh. super bad. Okay. okay Let's go. He that was Arfang. so intense. Jeez. Now he's still, he's still in a super dangerous situation. Oh, he's going to get these combos. He has the rage. Clean string coming out from Arfang. Oh, Gets the, the grab. Wow. Oh, the back airing out of the combo. Salt one, knowing, you know, you know exactly, he's like, oh, that's not going to connect. I'm going to throw out this back air. Yeah, Arfang with a slight miscalculation on that back air, and Salt one was able to get out of the combo. Really good cross up with the Nair. Oh, these strings. Oh, we got the loops on deck, though. Let's get into the cross up here, but Salt one going to end up with the grab. Oh, man, the limit's online. This is looking scary. Oh, but it just evaporates. What's he going to do here? Gets the air dodge, but the platform comes into Salt One's rescue. What are you gonna do? Oh man, but he drops the Thunder Combo. A little uncharacteristic from Arfang. Oh, this is scary. Yeah, both characters pretty much in very solid kill percent. The parry into the jab. Gets the F tilt. No, goes for the dash attack. Doesn't connect. Oh man, tries to get the boost tilt. Oh, tail. that's such a bad situation to be in. Is no, he does not get the ledge drop option. The oh, back the back air. Doesn't oh. kill him, but it's super close. Oh, he has limit. Hello, limit. 
Welcome to the party. Now Arfang has to play completely different. The new options online. The up be out of shield. So Salt one popping off. He goes up two one. Man, and the way Salt one upbeat out of shield was so smart. He, it was a multi hit. It can be hard to up, um, upbeat out of multi hit, but he waited till the the rising hits were done, and yep. then he caught that dead zone between the falling hits and the rising hits. Yes. So such such good decision making. Such good reaction time. Yes. From him. And that game changer, the limit, was yeah. such a huge game changer. So it's like, because he had that up, he had a shield as a kill option instead of just a damaging option, that was a huge, huge swing in the Salt One favor, of course, popping off. Game number three, so, so pivotal, but we're going right into game number four. Oh, whoa, okay. Whew. I thought, yeah. <laughs> Where are you going, man? Oh, Salt One starting off with some good damage. You know, Arfang's really looking for, oh, he's looking for these combos. It's exactly what he wants. Let's yeah. see, what is he going to get off it? Oh, just resetting neutral. Arfang will oh, go for it. with the down air. Arfang will go so, for some of like these nair resets out of up air. It's not like true after the nair, but he'll nair and then like try to get some kind of soft reset. Um, definitely very different from some of the other Pichu's that uh, Ooh, Pichu's combo game. But. Yeah, go, he, he realizes he's going to lose the limit. Might as well just throw it out and actually connects. Ooh, there's the up out of shield. Oh, up shield. Such a good option in this game. Ooh, nice. Oh, nice. Let's see what he does. Okay, he back throws. Jump call out, yes, but... Uh, Salt One not going for that jump, going straight into the directional air dodge. Oh wait, what's the punish? No. Oh, up late. throw, thunder? No. Gets the air dodge, but doesn't get the direction which Salt One drifted afterwards. Oh, try to get that down air. If it connected, definitely would have been the stock. And right now, Arfang needs to get out of the corner. He has oh, to avoid this Buster Sword. Oh, gets him with the up throw thunder. And there it is, the tried and true for Arfang at around that 120% mark. He wants to snatch you up. He wants to throw you into this thunder and get the lead. Okay, there's the back air spacing. He know Salt One right. knows he has a bunch of safe options to fish for. He oh. gets an opening. Oh, he doesn't get any light moves. Oh, but he catches him running away. Pretty hard with this rage. Salt, Salt One. Ooh, the back air killing all the way. Space goes coast to coast. Coast to coast across the stage. It doesn't matter. The back air. Cloud in general just being incredibly strong. Okay, he's got the limit. Oh, catches him! Catches him with the Pichu Classic! Don't be jumping on my ledge because I got the forward smash on deck. Arfang with an entire slot lead. Oh, South Carolina's going wild. Yeah, the Randy Chats are coming out here from South Carolina. And of course, even like their brother, North Carolina as well. Oh Double yeah, there. we're all family in the Carolinas. Oh, you already know, man. Right now, Randy with a very incredible lead, getting so much damage. Okay, waiting. I like the cross up there as well. Uh, Arfang doing such a great job utilizing Pichu's yeah, he, great air mobility. He, he recognized, you know, last game he had this huge lead, you know, he, he kind of squandered it with a few you know, unsafe options, so he's really, he's taking his time. Yeah. You know, he's not he's not rushing in anything, he's not going for anything ridiculous. Oh, Ooh, there's the dunk! Oh. Oh, trying to get the boost grab. There's the back air. Faith oh, back the out. F tilt! Almost gets the snipe! Oh, man! The trade! Oh, the nair! Oh! There's the Gets jump! The Is that it? Yo! <laughs> Arfang takes it to game five! I love that Arfang started charging F um, forward B because he knew it was over. Yeah, like, yeah, no yeah. way yeah. Uh, he could make it back. And then if he did go for an early up B, like, he could have just styled on him. Yeah. I definitely like the style options to like coming out from your boy Arfang. Of course, Carolina is behind Arfang. The crowd is going wild. This is the only Carolinan. I, I don't even know Car if Carolinian. Carolinian. All right, all right. You know, I, I'm learning out here. Yeah, the only yeah, Carolinian yeah, yeah, yeah. in the bracket. Arfang trying to bring it home. And, of course, Salt One in his tracks, repping Georgia. And we are here. We're at game number five. Well, we get some openings. Oh, they're both kind of just scrapping out a little bit here. Cloud, obviously, you know, getting a little bit of the advantage on these trades. You never want to be, you know, at a percent. You never, I mean, you never want to be higher percent. You want to be higher zero. But Peachy, you never want to be higher than your opponent, because then you're double losing. You're already oh, so man. light. You're already going to hurt yourself, like 90% of the time. And we see Arfang really excel in these offstage situations. Good tech. Could have been his soul right there. Yeah, that, that could have been a seriously bad situation. Oh, he has limit now. This is dangerous. Pichu at 75. That's death percent. Just Ooh. goes for it. I, I, I definitely respect it. Oh, man. And Arfang oh. taking his time. Did not want to make his way on the stage a little too hastily. Oh man, the forward smash going the wrong way oh, here. Oh, so smart. He didn't dash grab, he didn't dash tag. He just waited, ran up, and hit him with a nair. Okay, offstage situation. Gets the drag down, but he saves the jump. Okay, here's the T-Jolts. Arfang taking his time, dashing away Yo, from that pivot, forward tilt. Yeah, the pivot cancel was so smart, because he was expecting Randy to dash back. 
There's the dash. Oh, man, he tries to set it up. He's so consistent at these uh, parry into jabs. He's got to train with a cloud. Uh, we actually don't have a cloud here. But how is he so good at it? Like, Because Randy is, is uh, Arfang, amazing player. Oh, man, right Hitting now. Hitting the back air right there. The crowd, they, we really, they really want their boy to win. Oh, oh yeah. getting some damage. Not getting anything off that throw is surprising. Un uncharacteristic drop. Ooh. Down tilt. Give me that damage, Arfang, and he's still going already okay. 44 here on Assault 1. There's the oh, parry. Oh, the parry! And Arfang is looking real clean right now. Assault 1's definitely going to have to step it up here. He needs to find some way somehow Ooh, to take this stock. Oh, the back air. Assault 1 wants to charge at that limit. Oh, the back air, finding his way in between. He jumped at a T-Jolt. He did that a lot of times, and at that time, Saltwood just called him out for it. But man, at what cost? Pichu getting at 150%. That's incredible stock mileage for Pichu. Misses the tech, but Salt One, um, I mean, Arfang not ready to pull the trigger on the jab block. Oh, oh very great pulls, ass Pulls the trigger on it, because why not? You're about to lose it. Oh, oh the back air connects. Off stage with no limit. There's oh, the get the dunk! Arfang wants the set. And that is what you got to be careful about going for the early up at lower percent. They're going to oh, be... Oh, gets a grab. Wait a minute. The loops. He catches the, the air dodge. Loops. Okay. Oh, man. Right now, Arfang with such a huge lead. Salt One has to get this early stock. No, limit kind of close right now. He's yeah. going to have to clutch it out with something. Well, this is nowhere near over for uh, Salt One. He hasn't taken too much damage. Oh, I take that back. Here comes the oh, grab. Oh, he's taking a lot of damage here. Man, and right, oh, the upbeat, that was such a big resource. Gets the grab. Oh, he reads the roll. This is such a bad situation to be in. Nice, upbeat, early, upbeat, great first option for Salt One, get off of me. But man, this is looking so commanding here. Can Salt One bring it back? Oh, the back air out of shield. So good, this puts Salt One in a, oh, oh, really bad situation. He didn't get hit by the last hit. Okay, man, Salt One, slowing it down. He needs to get the straight Oh, the back air. Okay, Salt One's a super high percent, but he does have limit. Or he's about to have a limit. Oh, can he get this game? Okay. Get up attack. Oh, or tilt. tilt. That's not take it. Oh, there's the Oh, he gets the tilt. Randy Arfang doing it. Let's go, Randy. The crowd pops off for their boy. Taking it home. Game five against Salt One. And what a Randy. clean Randy. parry. Randy. Oh, man. And just clutching it out. Parry. In the four tilt off the early up B. Like, what a way so, to end it. So, so good. Man, so clean. And like do you you guys said, oh, you, you already know. <laughs> Spatulas cooking it. But man, he, he's cooking, man. He's doing it. But geez, I, that to me that's wild that you guys don't have a cloud. And like he was so consistent at getting those parries into jabs, or even at the end, the parry in the forward tilt. Like that is just mind-blowing to me. 